Hey Aquarius, it's Adrizzy, also known as the Sweetest Spiritual Gangsta. I'm back with another message of love. This is for you and your person and what they want to say to you, okay? So if this is for your sun, moon, or rising sign, definitely hit that like and subscribe button. All right, so you're in so we can continue to get more messages. Even if this one doesn't resonate, it don't matter, okay? Um, you know, sometimes not every message will resonate, but we're manifesting good, uh, you know, messages, okay? So that's what we're worried about. But anyways, let's get into it for all of my Aquarius. What do we need to see, know, and understand? understand for Aquarius and also if the, you do want more of a personal message to just your energy okay you can book me on my site which is tagged below all right in the link tree so thank you so uh for all your love and support as well um that's all I want to say you know but yeah anyways for all of my Aquarius for all of my Aquarius what is their warning What is Aquarius's warnings? All my Aquarians, masculine and feminine, what are their warnings? All right. So we have hail. Mm, it's time to get out of a situation, okay, Aquarius? Something about something, okay, has spilled, all right? Maybe you too drunk. Maybe you not going to drink sober, okay? It is Friday night. <laughs> maybe it's time to get out somewhere, okay? Maybe, I don't know if there's a leak, okay? Hopefully there's nothing. I, I feel like there could be a leak, all right? Something is going on with some water okay but i do feel like overall maybe your energy or i feel like time is up in a certain dynamic okay aquarius and i do feel like there's it's time to get out of it all right i don't know if this is going to be a an issue okay within your energy or if it's already happened all right and you're already aware that you do need to make moves but i do feel like you know the water has spilled okay it's already soaking in and i do feel like maybe there's a time of separation okay what else we have trouble and, and accusations ah yeah very interesting energy this could be with a fire sign or a water sign a pisces cancer or a scorpio or a um aries leo or a sagittarius but i do feel like something about this energy is very um it's like you can escape it if you if you um do play your cards right or do certain things right because i do feel like someone is making accusations towards you or there is just trouble about or there's trouble within the energy i feel like um also be careful when you're cooking okay please be careful where you're cooking because i do feel like maybe um you, you could be cooking and there's like an electrical fire okay but you want to you could probably want to pour water on it but i feel like something about your stove could be electric and you could be like cooking food and yeah just be careful please okay when you're cooking um i feel like don't if you want to cook you know take your time to cook i feel like someone could be wanting to make a rushed meal or really rushing to make their food and i feel like something about the energy yeah don't do that okay take your time because i do feel like something about you might have to run out of your house okay and i do feel like someone could be like accusing you like you could be very upset people are accusing you of how this has happened and why it happened and what was going on and it's just time to get out and i feel like uh maybe it was time to move uh, in something and maybe a fire is happening i don't know but yeah we also have work achievement and success okay so i do feel like also this could be about work okay this could be about um some um aquarius is when it comes to work there's a certain um something about yes so there's something that you have to get out of okay when it comes to work okay because i do feel like you do you have a very good work ethic but something about um where you the, your your work of employment someone um someone's trying to accuse you of some shit okay and i feel like someone's trying to discredit you and take certain things away from you you're gonna have to i feel like really defend yourself but i feel like also the the resolution is to just move on because this is a situation you could possibly outgrown i feel like you don't need to put your energy anymore towards this towards this okay we also have man dealings a relationship with a man so i feel like also this could be about maybe a relationship maybe needing to move out of or get out of a connection or this could be should just for more of the masculine energies out of out here all right but but yeah, someone could be getting an accused of something, all right, and they need to get out, okay? I feel like it could be more so a masculine getting accused of like a, like, um, 
Well, I don't want to assume. Just reveal it. All right. Anyways, we have new job or career. I'm telling you, this is about someone leaving a job. Okay. New job or career. All right. Show me what else. We have heart, love, deep affection, caring. Yeah. So I do feel like sometimes when it just comes to your work ethic, you have a very good mindset and head on your shoulders. And I feel like um, this is definitely for a masculine Aquarius. You do need to, I feel like, start maybe looking for new things or new endeavors. Okay. Or I feel like you're starting maybe a new career. And I feel like something about the current career that you're trying to make manifest it's not working and it's time to just get out and start something new because i do feel like it could be stirring more trouble about with certain things okay and i do feel like also some could, someone could be very um someone could be very um in tuned with work and getting things done and people are maybe cheating and accusing i feel like a certain a certain relationship is done because someone's very emotionally immature and I feel like it's just, it's over with, okay? I feel like you maybe, I feel like if some Aquariuses have, have found more love within work than um, when it comes to their love dynamic. And I feel like, um, I feel like someone has aspirations to make love work, but also someone's tired of being accused and, you know, being told, you know, certain things that isn't true about themselves. And I feel like it's been time to kind of get out. I feel like also someone could be accusing because they love you, because I feel like there's accusations because someone has a fear, you know, that because you started a new career that you do want to leave them behind. Okay. So I do feel like that in some cases that could be some people. All right. But yeah, show me what else is going on here. We have romances in the air. Right. Okay. Split the deck. Take care. Enemies are working against you. So like I said, something about that work dynamic, someone is not trying to help you or someone's just not trying to be very, I feel like, helpful to your energy hard work is ahead though know that okay table you could be again pushing in bringing your own table in, making a career you could be starting your own business maybe getting a new office okay and it's just it's head down now okay it's the it's the fourth quarter basically okay we are in october it's the fourth quarter of the year all right we got how many minutes on the clock okay i feel like somebody could be watching basketball okay or like they could be going to a basketball game but we do have a distant friend is thinking of you. So I do feel like also there is maybe some people that are, you know, missing your energy because you are so goal oriented. You are working on your finances. I do feel like maybe make time for those people. OK, underneath. Yeah. Protection from powerful friend. Yeah. Dog away. So there could be two friends or I feel like it's just one friend that really has a lot of love for you. That kind of just protects you from afar. I feel like that could be a lover. All right. That friend. But anyway, split the deck. Birth or conception of a, of a child or an enterprise. Amen. So I I feel like this is more so an enterprise or i feel like this could be um about love okay building a new you know love dynamic and relationship okay but i don't know or i feel like maybe someone could be accusing you of knocking them up aquarius okay um just because i feel like someone got a new career a new job but i do feel like also this person i feel like i feel like someone's kind of like a <laughs> they're a little lazy and i do feel like someone needs to i feel like get um a like a fire lit under their booty because i do feel like yes we got all this love and stuff like that here and we making babies but also i feel like someone doesn't have a job or someone doesn't isn't very consistent with a job okay someone's always leaving a job and i feel like someone's just like listen we can't keep doing that <laughs> okay top of the deck coming in though you will receive a gift okay so you will be receiving something very nice possibly but we do have indecisiveness allowing your life to ramble aimlessly yeah so i feel like a little bit of the energy i feel like someone could be trying to buy your love all right or trying to buy or trying to give you things that w makes you indecisive whether or not you possibly want to leave a job okay but yeah so that's kind of some things i'm getting now let's get into your person okay so first i'm just gonna pull an oracle for you and then i'm gonna read For all of my Aquarius, let's get an oracle for all my Aquarius, please. All right. So let's get into what does Aquarius this person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius this person want to say to Aquarius? What does Aquarius this person want to say to Aquarius? Sincere intentions. This person is definitely being sincere about anything that they do towards you, their energy towards you. I feel like they do care about you, okay? Their intention, their intent when they wake up in the morning, it's sincere. Whatever they say to you, it comes from the heart, okay? Show me what else for all of my Aquarius. Their person, what does the person on Aquarius's mind want to say to Aquarius? I just feel like I don't know you anymore. Okay. Show me what else is uh, Aquarius' this person feeling like Aquarius. 
My heart desires you. What else is here for Aquarius and their person? We have karma. And what is the energy of this karma for Aquarius's person? Longing. Someone is secretly yearning for your presence. Okay. So do you feel like maybe there was a sense of a separation? Karma may be hit in some dynamic. Okay, Aquarius. And I do feel like someone just misses you. Okay. I feel like, again, there may be a distance, a sense of a distance. Again, we in the beginning, we did have that warning of someone always working. Someone feeling like, someone just feels like maybe the connection isn't as strong anymore. Okay. Why do they feel that way? rebound okay so maybe someone thinks that someone's being a rebound or someone has a rebound or someone okay so this person could have been a rebound and i feel like a lot of dynamics okay and i feel like the karma of it is maybe this person took their time away or their their energy away okay let's clarify this i miss you but i don't have time right now right okay Show me what else is going on here for Aquarius's person. Do what you need to do, but you're mine. <laughs> right. I do feel like something about this person is also is very um, overprotective or very territorial. Okay. About you. But I do feel like there's a sense of them feeling like they need to get closer to you because I feel like in certain senses, it's just like, I feel like I don't know you anymore. And I don't know if it's just in a bad way, but it's like something about you, something's new and fresh about your energy, Aquarius. Something's always renewing. You're always changing your mind. You're always liking new things. You're always disliking something. Or I feel like there's something about your energy that's always shifting and this person wants to kind of get to know you, but they feel like they don't have time to. And I feel like also maybe there's karma because this person never, the times that they did get a chance to get to know you, they didn't. And I feel like every time that they long to have that connection or long to have that connectivity, you can't give it. Okay. We have, I can't put my words into actions. Right. So do you feel like also this person, they want to speak on this towards you, but I feel like they don't know how to do that actually physically. Show me what else. Wishing on a star about you. Oh. So this could be something, someone that's very um, dreamy, okay? This could be like a Pisces, okay? Or a Cancer or a Scorpio, but more so like a Pisces. Show me what else. Allergies, okay? So this person could have allergies as well. But I do feel like this person, I feel like, is wishing on a star about you. I feel like hoping that things can increase or do what they, they desire it to do, okay? Again, their heart does desire you, all right? Let's confirm these messages for all of my... Aquarius, the person on their mind. We have sweet smell. Okay, so someone has a very sweet smell to them as well. All right, I feel like someone loves your scent. Someone loves how you do smell. I feel like there's something about uh, maybe your perfume or just your natural scent, or maybe you like to cook. You like to make bake. You like make being making baked goods. Okay, all right. Um, but yeah, I do feel like it's more so that this person thinks that you just have a very sweet smell to you. You're just also very sweet. Show me what else for all of my Aquarius. I feel guilty about some things. No. So why is Aquarius this person feeling guilty? Why do they feel guilty? I miss laughing with you. Yeah, I'm telling you. It's something about taking your time and your energy and your, your love for maybe a uh, granted, okay, Aquarius? I feel like they just love you, all right? They really do and they're realizing that, but I feel like now that they don't have time to see you, they, they hate that. This is ridiculous, yeah. I feel like also anytime that they do get a chance to see you, maybe they can't or also something fall, doesn't fall through. I feel like there's frustration. Why do they feel like this is ridiculous though? What do they feel? I understand your situation, but I'm done. Yeah. Yeah. Someone just hates just the fact that when there's time, you don't have time. When there's time for them, they don't have time. It's just... But it's karma in a way. Why is it karma though? Why is it karma spirit? Why is it karma? You feel so far away. I think about you all the time. And I'm avoiding my feelings. Um, It's because even when you guys are with each other, like I said, y'all don't speak on the correct things. Y'all don't speak on what's necessary and what's needed. You guys just kind of just talk. You guys just do like the bare minimum, okay? 
just the bare minimum and i feel like you guys need to connect more all right it's something about your heart chakra that is very blocked there's a little bit of a blockage with you guys being able to be intimate with one another and it's not even physically it's about emotionally it's about communi communication all right let's clarify this they don't compare to you yeah i feel like also ooh, why did I, they don't compare to you come out no trust ah so i feel like also maybe there's a sense of maybe cheating okay that went around or what has gone down okay possibly within this dynamic with someone okay and i feel like someone is just realizing that no one compares to you and i feel like they they feel hurt possibly that you don't trust them or that maybe they don't they can't trust you um, but I feel like overall, this person definitely feels like there's no comparison when it comes to your energy. Again, do what you need to do, but your mind, their sincere intention. So this person likes their maybe Kate and Edith too. All right. It's kind of what I'm getting. Show me what else. Awkward silences are horrible with you. Right. Again, I feel like this person, they don't know how to like be, if, 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 if there's a silence in the room, they feel awkward about it. They feel like, uh, like this is the most horrible thing that they have to endure. I feel like they don't know how to be just with you and not feel guilty about not speaking or, you know, making conversation or it's just, I feel like smallest conversations are just as horrible, but I feel like being silent and not having anything to say is just as bad. We also have cross watchers. So this person could also be um, into like tarot or they could be into like oracle readings and things like that. And I do feel like they look and watch your sign. Okay. They kind of try to see what you are up to and what you're thinking about. They love watching videos. Okay. So this person could definitely be into tarot as well. We also have I'm happy we broke up. So why did this energy come out though? Why are they happy? What is, what is this? I feel like that's not for you guys. I'm not going to lie. All right. Let's see what else. Oh, or maybe that's the reaction to the cross watching videos i feel like maybe their interpretations are a little off about certain things okay but anyways let's clarify for all of my um aquarius the person on their mind i'm tired of repeating myself yeah i feel like also this person's maybe said that they miss you they want to hang out with you like they just feel like they want more connectivity with you and i feel like this person's just tired of feeling like you're so far away why are you you know we have old man and strictly sexual so this connection is passionate but not enduring so i do feel like this is definitely an older connection but i do feel like this is based off of maybe just what society has made love to be just sex and intimacy whether you're married whether you're connected i feel like the only connection you feel is through intimacy it's not through anything else okay show me what else for aquarius i'm doing better now and i want to show slash impress you so i do feel like also that's maybe what you guys work towards showing each other things what you're doing okay like empress emperor energy very aggressive when it comes to just showing that you have that power but having that um the softness about you that makes you approachable with wanting to know how you did it and how you got it done okay overall let's see one message you're trying to show us nothing has changed since you or i left okay clarify one more you are so beautiful to me and we have root chakra career belonging money mindset grounded okay this is the first chakra so this is where the base of your spine is your hips area okay so we do have problems with back pain and it's like from the feet down basically but anyways problems could be back pain colon emotional issues um with money and security okay so money again that could be with trying to get your finances right and security feeling secure feeling confident in what you do for work feeling confident in your security of the connection basically the foundation the layer the the the, the first foundation here that's what's the very most important okay and i think that's what is being really exuded right now because i do feel like finances and career are very important but also so is love and so is feeling like you belong where you are in love okay but yes, um, that is kind of what I got. Let's uh, let's see some energy quickly coming in for all of my Aquarius. Moving on and escaping. Your dreams are coming true. All right. Let's confirm one more. Major ending, but to a new beginning. So let's clarify moving on and escape for all of my Aquarius coming in. Pausing to reflect. Let's clarify that. new opportunities yes so i do feel like there's a sense of you guys finally being able to choose to move on to i feel like maybe new choices new new things again especially when it comes to finances okay reassessment and i do feel like so strongly about this 
something about someone's finances like dictates the love dynamic right destructive behaviors okay so karmic bond mm. what is major ending to new beginning destructive behaviors what is this new level of growth helping others and mentoring yeah so i do feel like something about the energy is going to be shifted okay but once people address certain things that have happened in the past maybe the cheating the her okay the work there's things that need to be addressed for you guys to actually move forward with everything in life okay because i feel like love is the biggest blockage that will have you stop okay if you're sad about a boyfriend or a girlfriend or a wife or a man your whole day is fucked okay so i do feel like something about getting this relationship in alignment will actually put you and your life in alignment period okay i do feel like just people let love affect them very strongly and just the love and this the emotion and the passion and i do feel like getting that in line will actually really help you right rest and relaxing because again i feel like with that falling out in reverse there is no fucking chill and i feel like that's where you guys have to get past that and realizing that sometimes chill is just as what's better all right family support and patience and progress so i do feel like also this could be someone that has a family kids okay or this could be someone that support that leans on family and i feel like maybe family doesn't know how to calm them down um um, but I do feel like there's a sense of maybe having patience and progress with, yeah, again, success and perseverance, your dreams coming true within the dynamic. I feel like there's something that's strong here, but you guys have to work on, um, it's like work on the, the roots. Okay. All right. And the fruits will take care of themselves basically. Sudden progress and change overall coming in. One more crisis and disappointment. So I guess change is coming. Good change, but it's going to hurt. Okay. Split the deck financial matters. All right. So I do feel like there's like a necessary change that needs to happen, but I feel like it doesn't have to hurt as bad as, you know, it can if you, this depending on how you do things. Okay. But anyways, for Aquarius, let's see what's going on for Aquarius and love codependency right addictions are affecting this romantic connection so this could be spending addictions this could be sexual addictions this could be tendencies this could be bad patterns this could be certain issues okay um, emotionally mentally whatever depression anxiety okay um drugs it could be some type of addiction or some type of lower vibrational energy is really affecting the connection right now okay show me what else unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going again the love is lacking the everything is just lax right now let's get one more true love but this is a romance of a lifetime amen overall children your love life is being affected by children yeah so i do feel like also maybe um either you have kids with this person where the love can't really get to where it needs to be okay because there's other energies that are um you know affecting that but i do feel like also there's a sense of you uh maybe the childish energy maybe there's a sense of you needing to grow up okay aquarius or this person needs to grow up i feel like sometimes you guys bark at each other like dogs and i feel like there's a sense of you guys needing to maybe grow up okay um but and it's not even grow up like, oh, I'm, I'm how old? And no, it's more so just grow up in your thinking. Go back to when you were a child and seeing how you react to things, seeing how you respond. I feel like that's something that's very necessary right now. Show me what else is going on for Aquarius. Show me what else is going on for Aquarius. Yeah, Knight of Wands energy. I do feel like someone's going to be rushing in, okay, Aquarius, and messaging you really responsive towards you because I do feel like someone's tired or hurt of, you know, trying to let you down. I feel like, again, you, Aquarius, you are their star. And I do feel like someone wants to heal. I feel like the disappointment that's coming in the energy all the time, okay? That is one thing. Again, we did say that the healing process will might would might hurt, okay? We do have the Eight of Cups and the Devil card. Again, yeah, someone's getting past the toxic energy that they are exuding, okay? Someone's finally walking away. I feel like also, someone could be you know thinking about walking away thinking that maybe you're cheating okay um this could be a capricorn taurus or a virgo or yeah top of the deck coming in yeah this person's waiting for the laws of the universe so i feel like just continue to let things flow and and be shown okay top of the deck coming in the sun yeah someone's just waiting for the proper healing process to start but I do feel like also this person needs to be able to when you are ready to start okay even if this the cross watcher if you're watching I feel like there's a sense of this person, if you are wanting this person to start the healing process, you have to as well. And you need to know that it's it's not going to take tomorrow and, and, and just the next day to get past it. It takes a long time, okay, to get your wishes fulfilled, but it can be fulfilled if you want it. I feel like also working on your individualism is going to be very important because I feel like also that's been one thing that has been actually hurting the connection is how you guys both individually benefit each other, you know, together instead of one or the other, okay? Let's see what spirit has for this dynamic oh we have let go all right let's clarify is this let go of the connection or let go of certain things let's clarify 
don't stop yeah i do feel like it's more so about letting go but not stopping this connection okay let go and finally release what's needed you need to let go you need to release it's like a sense of forgiveness because if you can't forgive then you can't forget and it's not about forgetting but it's about accepting as well okay so accepting things that you cannot change show me what else you are going through some tough shit all right everyone has their turn aquarius welcome to yours gather your tired ass up and handle it all right but that was for you all right let's see what your oracles are accept love amen i love that energy accept the love that is around you okay accept it you could be watching squid games because <laughs> right when i see this i think it's like let me stop okay anyways <laughs> top of the deck um or overall energy of the deck we have prosperity and abundance you could have a little black cat i see cats in both of these okay so you could be needing to hang out with a cat or there's just a black cat that's around you that i feel like would love to just chill with you you could have two or three possibly all right but just enjoy yourself and i feel like enjoy the fruits of your labor of what you are creating okay i feel like you're in a very grounded state when it comes to your finances and and, and i feel like trying to manifest things for yourself so continue to do that but i feel like get past I feel like the hurt and, and the deception and then the the pain, whatever, okay, and accept the love that is being dis is, is being given, okay? Affirm affirmation for growth as well. Again, like I said, very grounded decisions, trying to grow yourself, okay? You could have a green thumb. Again, a lot of cats, a lot of cats, okay? Got one more coming in. We do have strength and resilience, okay? So do not give up. Continue to, I feel like, never back down from your issues, never back down from your problems, but make them let you be, let them create you to be stronger Blech. okay but yes that is for you i hope that helps in some way i'll be back soon with another message um make sure you like okay let me get you one word oh, i also forgot whoops awakening amen i was feeling that energy but that was for you bye guys